Today's episode is about the HMC 5883L magnetometer 3-axis sensor. This sensor is most commonly used in robotics for the navigation purposes. Using this sensor, you can easily find the direction. This episode covers the circuit connections, programming and testing. Let's get started. This is the HMC 5883L magnetometer 3-axis sensor. As you can see my friends, the pins are labeled with VCC, ground, SCL, SDA and DRDY. If you look at the HMC 5883L features, you will come to know that the HMC 5883L can be connected to the Arduino using I2C communication bus. Now the question is what is I2C bus? I2C communication bus has become very popular and now commonly used by thousands of electronic devices because of its easy implementation by the easy implementation I mean that you can connect such devices as HMC 5883L which supports I2C bus can be connected using only two wires using only two wires we can connect many devices as every device has its own unique address so now my friends, this is the connection diagram of the HMC 5883L which is really easy as this is using the I2C communication and we'll be using only two wires which are the SCL and the SDA. So starting with the VCC, we can connect the VCC of the HMC 5883L with 33 volt and also to 5 volt. But I recommend that you should connect this sensor with the 5 volt of the Arduino. And then there is a ground. The ground of the HMC 5883L should be connected with the ground and the SCL should be connected with A5 and the SDA should be connected with A4 and the DRDY is not connected. So this is really very basic circuit diagram and this is really easy and we will also be using an LED which is on pair 13 of the Arduino so we will make a decision on a particular angle and then we will turn on and turn off that LED. So now let's connect the HMC 5883L with the Arduino Udo. And after interfacing HMC 5883L with the Arduino, then we will start the programming and then finally the testing. So let's get started. So my friends, for the interfacing, you will be needing four jumper wires, male to female type. Connect the red wire with the VCC. Gray wire with the ground. orange wire with the SCL and the last wire with the SDA so my friends as you can see the red wire is connected with the 5 fold and the gray wire is connected with the ground and the SCL is connected with a 5 and the SDA is connected with a 4 so now let's connect Arduino with the laptop and then we will start the programming. So my friends as you can see the Arduino is connected with a laptop it's on. So start with the reference uh, the I2C library which is hash include wire.h and uh, reference the HMC 5883L compass library hash include HMC 5883L dot H so make sure that you add these header files otherwise it won't work so the hash include means that it's a preprocessor directive and you have to add these to libraries store our compass as a variable to HMC 5883L compass and then a terminator which is a semicolon and record any error that may occur in the compass so integer error equals to zero integer LD pin equals to 13 so at the beginning I told you that we will be controlling an LD depending on the angle okay so for that we are we will be using the Arduino LED which is on pin number 13 of the Arduino so out setup routine here we will configure the microcontroller and the comp as you know my friends that every mega and Arduino Uno program has at least two functions which are the white setup and the white loop so we start with the white setup the white means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any ar ar argument as the end port so same for the white loop 
and so initialize the serial port so as we will be sending the angle data to the serial monitor so for that we will have to activate the serial communication so we will be using serial dot begin 9600 so <clears throat> as you can see this is also a function but it's taking the the baud rate as the end port and this baud rate you can change if you want so this is 90 so currently this is uh, 9600 which is bits per second pin mode LD pin output so as you know guys that the LD is an output device so that's why it's output serial dot print line starting the I2C in interface and wire dot begin so serial dot print line then compass equals to this and uh, serial dot print line error is equal to compass dot scale 1.3 so set the scale of the compass if error not equals to zero if there is an error print it out serial dot print line compass dot get error text error serial dot print line setting measurement mode to continuous and error equals to compass dot set measurement mode measurement underscore continuous set the measurement mode to continuous and if error not equals to zero if there is an error printed out serial dot print line compass dot get error text error you can download this code from my blogger page i will uh, give the link in the description and now we start with a wide loop so magnetometer raw this is the raw data raw equal to compass dot read the raw access so retrieve the scaled values from the compost scale to the configured scale so magnetometer scaled scaled equal to compass dot read scaled access values are access like so like you use scale dot x axis or y axis or z axis calculate heading when the magnetometer is level then correct for signs of the axis so then we use this instruction and once you have your heading you must then add your declination angle which is the, the error of the magnetic field in your location so you can find this from this uh, website so floor declination angle equals to 0 0.0457 so heading plus equals declination angle and correct for when signs are reversed so if heading is less than zero heading plus equals to two into pi and check for rob due to addition of declination so if heading greater than two into pi so heading minus equals to two into pi convert radians to degrees for reliability so float heading degrees equals to heading into 180 divided by m underscore pi output the data with the serial port so output raw scaled heading and heading degree so these are all the values which we will sending to the serial monitor so normally we would delay the application by 66 milliseconds to allow the loop to run at 15 hertz default bandwidth for the HMC 5883L however since we have a long serial out 104 MS at 9600 we will let it run at its natural speed delay 66 milliseconds okay so now out the data down the serial port so wide output magnetometer raw and the magnetometer scaled and which is scaled float heading and float so actually this is you can see it's a, it's, it's a function with the name output and it's taking one two three and four inputs as the arguments and you can see its type is white it means that this function is not returning any value so serial dot print raw then we use a tab and serial dot print raw dot access serial dot print then there's nothing empty and serial dot print raw dot y axis and then z axis so pretty much the same and uh, so then over here we are using a condition that if the heading degrees greater than or equal to one and heading degrees less than equals to 45 then what to do then turn on the LED which is on pin number 13 and if any other angle then keep it low so that's the program you can download this program from my blogger page I'll provide the link in the description and now let's upload this code So now the the program is uploaded and now let's uh, on the serial monitor 
So my friends over here you can see the degrees are currently it's uh, 4 3 to 4 point something like in degrees and over here on the screen you can also see that the LED is on so if I turn it on you can see the angle the angle is also changing now the angle is 15 and it's now increasing like so it's 39 40 41 and now you can see the LED is turned off as the current the angle is uh, greater than 45 so the the LED which is on pin number 13 is off so as you can see now it's again it's turned on because the angle is uh, below 45 so this way you can restrict the movement of a robot or any other part of a machine so that it always stays at that angle so now you can actually modify this code you can use the F else conditions and you can control motors with it you can now send these values to the LCD so there is no need to send all these values you have to you have to send only this value which is which is the heading degrees you have to call this and you have to send only these values to the LCD or to a computer application or you can uh, also wirelessly send this uh, data to another location so I hope you liked this episode like my video share my videos with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching